Hi, Tim Roy for Warriors.com. We're talking to Baylor Ford Quincy Miller, and, and uh, you're going through the workout uh, phase, and you're here in, in Golden State with your workout. How'd it go? Uh, I think it went great, man. I showed a lot of different things. I showed like a pass. I showed like a score at multiple positions. I showed my mid-range game, um, and I played good defense, great defense. Yeah. Is there a different mindset for a workout as opposed to just going and playing? Uh, you know, you just got to show, show everybody that you're willing to work. And you got to turn it up in Tennessee level. Very so. Now, with um, uh, your particular game, how how would you describe the your style of play? My style of play uh, is um, inside outside play. I'm very versatile. I can play uh, a lot of different positions. Uh, I can play inside. I can post up smaller guards. And as I think, uh, as, as long as I keep putting on weight, it's gonna come in the NBA. Um, I can I can take out take out bigger defenders. Uh, yeah. Now you know, known you're known to have good footwork. Mm -hmm. How did you learn that? What co what coach got to you and said, okay, you need to you need to know this? Um, well, I, it kind of was my uncle, mm -hmm. and then my high school coach uh, Isaac Pitts at Quality Education. Those two guys, they really you know kept kept me on my footwork. So that's something I never lost. I just always kept good footwork. How does that help you? Um, you know, some some people always get caught in different positions, mm -hmm. and they don't know how to pivot or don't how to you know switch 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 how they how they move. And uh, I know how to do all that. You know, it's, so it's I think it, I think it's a plus for me. General, Tell me about playing for Baylor this year. You guys were loaded. Great experience, man. You know we were so stacked at every position. Um, we had a lot of power forwards, a lot of shooting guards. We had everything basically. Yeah, multiple like multiple people at one position. Um, when we, we we just we was a family before anything. And uh, we played together. We won a lot of games. We lost some, but. At all, at overall, it was a great season for us. And was it hard because you had, they really fight for some bragging rights on that campus, you know, when you consider football and women's basketball as well. So, is it hard for us? Yeah. Was it hard to get bragging rights on that campus with all the all the other sports doing so well? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, you know, we got so many great different different athletes, so many great people there. It, you know, it's hard, but at the same time, we, we was doing our thing too. So, we we had some bragging rights. Let's go back to, to the uh, the workout process. I, I saw the, the the combine in Chicago. How do you fight through that? Because you know they're not going to judge you on one day. You know this is a whole the whole you know I guess uh, your your amount of work college workouts and so on and so forth. But but mentally, how do you how do you fight through a bad day when when everybody's kind of watching? Um, you know, it, it's gonna happen. Yeah, like it, it happened to great. It happens to LeBron. It happens to everybody. I'm not saying I'm great, but you know you, you just got to fight through adversity. That shows that you're a strong person, and you got to bounce back and work harder the next time you out. Yeah, it's it's interesting because it's yeah. it's almost like uh, battling back after a bad game. Yeah, definitely. It's like that was my bad game, but I think I've been playing good since then. <laughs> Cause you got a good shot. Yeah, definitely. I just I I, I wasn't like my adrenaline was pumping. You know, I, I wasn't, I was like, ah. yeah, I was so hyped and I, I shot kind of bad. But at the same time, when I went to other teams' workouts, I shot really well. I came here, shot really good. So I think people see that I could shoot. When you go out and get some shots up, do you have your own little routine that you do? Uh, I just, I stand in front of the rim, like get about 50 up, and try to do it up real quick, you know, get in front of the rim, go on the side, left, right in front of the rim and just keep trying to get a man right over the ceiling. Start close, work out. Mm -hmm. You got to do that. Yeah. You have to do that. So how are you going to uh, spend your draft night? Uh, man, I'm probably, um, I, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. I'll, I'll probably be with my family, most likely be with my mother. Uh -huh. That would be great. Um, yeah. Now it says here, following basketball, you want to become an anesthesiologist. Yeah. How did you get interested in that? Because uh, my mother is a nurse. Okay. So I used to always see her giving people shots. And I was like, that's, that's kind of legit. And you know how some people are nervous or scared before their surgery. Mm -hmm. I think I'm one of those type of people who could go in there, cheer them up, make them laugh, you know, make them un like make them not nervous. So I think I'd be good at that. And I like putting people to sleep, and I like math. Oh yeah, you gotta get the people to count back from under, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me uh, a little bit about the uh, the tattoo on your right shoulder there. Oh, this one, yeah. Viola Miller. That's yeah. my grandmother. She passed away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was so she I'm, a big influence on your life? Definitely. She uh she was a church one woman. I used to always go to church with her. She used to uh, always give me the best advice, you know. And she was so funny. And she but she was old, like so. But she was so funny. Had all the jokes, and I really related to my grandmother. So it was good to get to know her. Yeah, huh? definitely. So you mentioned you guys spend draft night with your with your mom mm -hmm. and, and and everything. Uh, how are you gonna handle the countdown to the draft? There's a few days leading up to the draft and handle the anxiety and all that. You know, I'm just I'm just gonna sit there and wait, man. I. I I know I'm nervous, but at the same time, I'm happy to be getting drafted or even being considered in the top 60. You know, that's a special, 
special, like you know. No, no question. Yeah. It's, a, it's it's an honor to to play honor. in the in yeah. play in the NBA. Definitely. And uh, so if you know David Stern goes to the podium and calls out your name, or you know what, what's that going to mean to you? Everything, everything I've been working for. Yeah. I'm working so hard, and then I just been battling through everything. Mm-hmm. So now that I made it, you know, I can say I can tell go home to my friends, go home to my people in my city, you know, Chicago, and just, you know, tell them that they can make it through anything. Now, you know we had Epe Udo here. Yeah. Has he talked to you at all about, do you guys, do you guys talk? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Epe is a real good guy, man, a real great defensive player, like great defensive player. Um, he brings a lot to a team. Yeah, and he'd be, he's, he'd be a good resource for you as far definitely. as the, getting ready for the NBA life. Yeah. He's, a, he's a good man. I love Epe, man. All right. So, Quincy Miller, thank you for coming by, and and congratulations on your your workouts, and, and good luck on draft night. I appreciate you, man.